and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of the River King 2. So, we do have a mission we need to do. We need to raise about 300 gold in order to, uh, free that turtle from that kid. Right after we beat up an Umu. I always thought that was an Emu as a kid. But anyways, these guys do kinda hurt. Oh, also in between episodes I did, uh, grind up a few levels. Because we are going to have to do quite a bit of grinding in this area, unfortunately. HP becomes super important now that we can dive. Uh, especially if we want to do any, like, quote-unquote deep sea diving. We're going to need a lot of HP for that. Speaking of diving... Actually, wait. Uh, that bird did take a lot of HP off me. I think I'm going to wait on the diving. Instead, let's just do some fishing along the shore. So yeah, we need about 300 gold. Oh wait, ah, I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. Uh, a really good way to make gold on the shore though is to just keep diving for like oysters. Unfortunately that does mean you're get- oh, that's right. Uh, I don't have to actually lure him onto the hook anymore. Uh, that does mean that we would have to wrestle the inn after every dive, and that we wouldn't really be able to fish. At least until we get our HP up. By the time I leave this area, I actually need at least, like, 100 HP uh, in order to do anything in the next area. Like, this isn't a suggestion. You need at least 100 HP in order to do what you need to do later. But we got Rock Snapper. Uh, those are actually pretty big fish, I believe. How big was it again? It was... Four, oh, 40... I almost said 400 centimeters. That would be an absolutely massive fish. But yeah, these fish are actually pretty big. Oh, oh, it ate my bait. I didn't realize it grabbed on. I might have to refill, uh, refill on krill at some point. But yeah, when they're near the shore, it's sometimes hard to tell if they grab on or not. Especially when you can't really see them. I don't think they're going for it. No. They just really like running into the shore, apparently. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna get those fish. Let's move on. I don't really want to go out in the water quite yet. I do want to save up uh, all the HP I have right now in order to dive. I should be able to make one dive with this much HP. And I also have to be careful that we don't get attacked by hermit crabs. Although they are worth 2 uh, XP each. So it won't be too bad to fight a few of them, and they don't hurt that much. Also, these fish just, just do- oh wait, there we go. Oh, what is it? Ooh, another uh, rock- now rockfish. What are they called again? Oh, whatever. We got one. And he's not really fighting back. And the moment I say that, yep, there he goes. Alright, but I think we got him. There we go. A uh, rock snapper, that's right. 35 centimeters, not bad. Let's see if we can get another one before I uh, try going for a dive. I also need to stop by the fish shop at some point to refresh my krill. Or tackle shop, I should say. Hi, train. Trains don't go in the ocean, silly. Hmm. Let's move closer to the shore. Yeah, with my lower HP right now, I'm not really casting out that far. I also want to be really careful in this area just because the birds can steal your fish. Actually, a lot of enemies can steal your fish now that I think about it. Maybe I was just really lucky as a kid and the only one that really stole my fish regularly was the cat. Oh, nope. Everything else I usually got down in like one shot so they never had the chance to steal a fish. Still, we should probably be really careful about them. Last thing I want right now is to lose all my fish. There we go. Alright, so let's see if we can go for a dive. Alright, so... Diving time! Alright, we should be able to make it to the bottom with, uh, 47 HP. As long as I don't get hit by a jellyfish. 
That would really suck if you got stung by a jellyfish like that deep underwater. Thank god we can surface it in an instant, just cause... If we got stuck underwater, that would be bad. Okay, we almost made it to the bottom. Uh, we might not be able to make it. Nope. Oh well. Quick warp back to the inn. Alright, let's rest up and then I guess I'll go fishing again. I might as well go directly to the bait, not the bait shop, the uh, fish market. Let's go sell what we have so far. What if I can catch any fish in this area? Uh, right after I put some bait on. And let's try a lugworm. I think the fish in this area like lugworms. Here, let's cast in this area instead. Hmm, doesn't look like they're gonna go for it. Let's move down a bit. Alright, this one should go for it if it likes slugworms. If not, I'll just switch back to the krill. Oh wait, no, here we go. It likes it. Are you a big fish? Did you just eat my bait? Huh. That hasn't happened for a while. Hmm, must have mistimed that. There we go. Ooh, you are a big looking fish. Well, relatively big. You're bigger than the... I think my hook is too small uh, for these type of fish. Cause yeah, I forgot if that hook size is a thing when you're not using lore rods. I might need to buy a bigger hook for a sea bass. Also, aren't sea bass supposed to be deeper in the ocean rather than right at the shore? But yeah, I need to refresh myself on my fish knowledge. I can never remember all the little hooks and sinkers with some fish. Mostly because, yeah, I tend to use lore rods more than a uh, bait. Just because I'm cheap and I don't like paying for bait. Plus, with lore rods, you don't have to worry about hooks and everything. Well, technically, you have to worry about actually hooking the fish, but you don't have to worry about, like, constantly buying new hooks. There we go. Oh, it's a tiny fish. Well, that's expected. Still worth at least, like, an in stay in a little bit. It is important that we also make enough money to actually stay at the inn fairly regularly, because diving does take up most of our HP. Ah, uh, pufferfish. I forget, did we give you a pufferfish yet? I think we did. Alright, let's see how much we can make out of this stuff. What do we have? Ah, 135 gold, not bad. We're about halfway there to saving that turtle. Also, what kind of kid is that obsessed with being up a turtle that he's staying on the beach for like weeks? Because it's been like three days since we talked to him. Alright, uh, actually let's move on to a different area. And let's not cast on the bridge. But yeah, I'm curious if we should change our hook out for a bit. Or when you stick to this area and catch, like, regularly sized fish. They're not too bad. And they're worth quite a bit. Hmm. I might have to go out onto that rock if I want to catch any. Also, yeah, they don't like hogworms. Back to Krill it is. I only have three, though. So yeah, once I'm out of bait, I'm probably gonna go try diving for another oyster. Uh, get everything sold off, refresh my bait, and go to bed. Because after that, I am gonna be at very high risk of being attacked by a bird. And then probably passing out because of that. Only in this game do you have to fear about being attacked by birds. Well, technically you have to be worried about being attacked by birds, but this is the only one you have to be worried about them stealing your fish. Which is honestly a bigger detriment than than uh, knocking us out. Just because an instay is only 10 gold. Speaking of enemies, hi there hermit crab. We have 80 HP.
Yeah, one advantage of having 80 HP is that you hit really hard when you're at full HP. And it usually takes a few hits for them to weaken you enough that you can't one-shot most enemies. Oh! He must have grabbed on at the very last second. Uh, that's another piece of krill I'm missing now. This is fine. I do hope we get some more hermit crabs, though. I don't think they can steal your fish. So they're pretty safe to grind on right now. Uh, if I really wanted to grind, I would head down south, actually. But for now, let's just keep grabbing some fish. So we have two more krill, so we can grab uh, two fish and then I'm going to go for a dive. I know there are other things we can dive for, like down south, but I think oysters are the most valuable in the area. Because I think they're the only s rank one we can get pretty easily. And they're like right next to us, and we don't have to go out into the deep water to get them. Because right now having to canoe everywhere into the water kind of drains our HP really quickly. Also, we almost had him, but nope, fought back at the very last second. If I lose this fish, I'm going to be so pissed. There we go. And 36 centimeters, not bad. And we're down to our last piece of krill. Maybe we should try some of the other fish. Or some of the other bait. To get other fish. Yeah, let's move down here, actually. Hey, oh, he moved. Well, maybe he'll come back. And my lore is kind of slowly drifting towards him. Okay, yeah, we're not going to get that one. We can probably get one of these, though. Uh, a bit too high. Yeah, we're a bit... Oh, he just turned at my bait. No, it doesn't look like any of them are coming for it. Let's try one last cast. Oh, no, too far. I want to get in front of him and try to get him to attack the bait. Alright, so that should be a good position. Okay, there are three fish right next to it. Someone grab on. Of course, it's the last fish I'm going to catch that gives me the most trouble. Oh, there we go. Oh, good. It's a... I almost called it a barracuda. That is definitely not a barracuda. It's a rock... Not rock trout. Uh, well, I have a really bad memory about fish names for some reason. But whatever, it's a fish. I want it. And he's not putting up too big of a fight. Rock Snapper, that's it. For some reason I couldn't remember the word Snapper. Alright, let's see if we can get an Oyster this time without passing out. We have 79 HP, we should be fine. You only need at least around 48 or so HP to get to the bottom here. And that's if you don't hit anything on the way down. Because I think it's based on time, not uh, actual depth. Oh wow, we got that in like 20 HP. Actually, we do have enough HP to try again. I'm probably not going to try a third time if I get to the bomb really quickly. Huh. Maybe last time I just went in a really deep, random area along the shore for some reason. 25 HP, that's probably not enough. Plus, I do want to save some HP to beat up, like, random encounters. Sure, let's go with that. That does sound kind of relaxing, just staring out into the waves, drunk. Actually, I don't really drink that much. Alright, so let's go, go sell what we have. Uh, right now we have, how much money do we have again? Don't oh, fish. 175, so about 10 for an instay and then 10 for bait. We just need 150 more. Eh, only 80. Oh wait, no, we haven't sold the oysters yet. Take my oysters. Awesome. 
We now have enough HP to pay the kid off. Unfortunately, with my expenses, we're probably gonna need one more thing before we uh, fully pay him off. Actually, wait, do I have any flowers with me? That's my bugs. Uh, flowers. I do. You know what? Let's just go sell the flowers then. I think they sell, or they buy flowers in this area. Actually, wait, supermarket's the other way. Never mind. And I'm over here. I will take you. But yeah, let's go try selling these flowers then. And while I'm here, let's grab bait. Oh no, not a rod. Uh, bait. What do we have right now? I just need krill. Alright, time to get to the supermarket. I don't think they sell anything here I need. Let me check. Tools. Uh, not really. I don't want any of this stuff. Oh, no. Stop trying to fish on the guy. Oh, you sell bugs. Oh, wait. I have bugs on me? Or was that just a I think that was just a typo. Well, whatever. Take my flowers. Yeah, the cage is for bugs, not flowers. Anyways, time for bed. Whoa, game. Are you okay? Well then. That was weird. I have the train. Alright, so let's just go pay this kid. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Random encounter. And he gets the first attack. Eh, not too bad. And 70 HP is still enough to one-shot him, I believe. Yep. More free experience. Wait, another one. Oh, uh, thank God I'm not carrying any fish with me. And we get to level 13. Actually, what is my HP, uh, max HP right now? Hmm, I'm probably gonna need another 10 levels in order to get through the HP I want. I want to be in like around at least 120, honestly. Like 100 is probably the bare minimum for uh, the diving you're gonna need to do soon. But we paid the kid off and now we freed the turtle. The talking turtle. That sounds fun. That does not sound fun. Ooh, can we ride the turtle? I want to ride a turtle. Unfortunately, yeah, he's not going to let us. All right, but we're going to need a boat to get out there. But I think we'll do that next time. So next time on One Second, we're finding a kite. Alright, so, next time on Let's Play Legend of the- One second, another kite! Okay, anyways. Next time on Let's Play Legend of the River King- Are you kidding me? Alright, so I think I'm gonna stop moving now. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of the- Okay, fine. Uh, Legend of the River King 2. I'm gonna grind up a few levels before moving on. Like I said, I'm probably going to try to get another 10 levels or so. Actually, with 2 HP per level, that's still only like 106 HP. Maybe another 15 levels. We'll see. So, till then. Also, there are a few things I still need to grab in this area before we go to. And I'll probably grind up a bit of money. Uh, just so I have a bit of uh, backup so I can take naps at the inn. So, till then.